Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 28 of the FIFA 18 My Player Career and the first game up today for United is an away match in the English League Cup taking on lower league team Millwall. Um, these games are always going to be tough no matter what kind of squad Manchester United are going to be putting out and um, we do see quite a few of the big names already in the starting 11 so hopefully we can go all the way and get the victory. We've got to be the favourites, like I said, in this match. And Kai's making the start, of course. There is Lukaku, so we know that we've got a good strike force going forward in this match. So, no doubt there's going to be plenty of chances for Manchester United to get on the score sheet. And as we are against one of the lower league teams, I'm sure we are going to be bagging a goal or two. Or is there going to be a shock in store? Hopefully not, but Kai, nice little bit of skill there. Trying to go for the early goal here, Manchester United. Want to settle those early jitters, if there is any. Like I said, we are going to be the favourites. So if there's going to be jitters anywhere on this pitch, it's got to be in the hearts of the Millwall players as Kai's trying to battle his way through there. He manages to get through. Oh, nice bit of skill there from Kai. Goes for the shot and what a goal that would have been if it had flown into the back of the net. But look at this. Nice little touch over the head of the goal uh, defender. Sorry, He goes for the shot on the off volley and just a little bit too much angle on that and goes wide and out for a Millwall goal kick. And Millwall were pressing forward there, but good defending from United and a possible chance here for a counter-attack. Kai picks the ball inside the United half, tries a bit of skill there, didn't quite work out for him, did it? And, but he does get the ball back, sees the run straight through the middle. Now Lukaku waiting for the run of Anthony Marshall. Here is Marshall, goes for the shot, he went for the near post, but the goalkeeper making an easy save and palming that one out. For a United corner. Half an hour play then. It is Millwall nil. Manchester United nil. And a good chance again there for United. Was that Matic? I'm not sure if that was Matic or not. But it was a good chance nevertheless. Any player should have been banging that one into the back of the net. We're jumping into the second half then. Approaching the hour mark here. And it is still goalless. Which is a bit of a shock. We thought that we would have been able to bag ourselves a goal or two by now. But Millwall playing really well. Defending well as well at the back keeping us at bay and even they are pushing forward nice cross near uh, far post sorry and that one had to be made uh, had to be saved there from David De Gea he palms that one out and it is going to be a corner then to Millwall I'm going to go through everybody and out the plate for a Manchester United throw so come on United let's try and grab ourselves a goal another change here Seamus Coleman is coming on for United he comes on in place of Cancelo a little bit of extra defending there. I don't know why. We should be bringing on attackers, if anything. Yeah, but Kai, lucky there, picking up the ball. Going straight through the middle. Cleared away there by Millwall. Kai's currently on a 7.1 rating, so not the best of games here for him. He's going to pick up that loose pass there from Millwall, though. And gives it away. Wow, he's having a terrible game, isn't he, Kai? He did win it back, though, so I'll give him that. Nice bit of skill as well. Carrying on his run straight through the middle. He's there. One-on-one -on -one with a keeper. Low-driven shot. And there we go. He's having a poor game so far. But into the final five minutes. And he has, luckily, given Manchester United what seems to be the winning goal. Took a while to come, didn't it? And as I said, his passing and his gameplay has not been great today. But when you need the superstar, he's going to come up trumps. And nice passing play as well there from his United teammates. Scores his first Carabao Cup goal of the season. And will there be many more to come? I'm hoping so. We want to go all the way in this competition. Just like any other competition. He goes through. Oh, he's hit the woodwork. Looking for his second goal in the final minute of the match. Bounces back out into play off the um, woodwork. And is there going to be one last chance here for United? He's got a few accomplishments as well unlocked there. Uh, green hair being one of those. But we don't really want green hair. Great save there again. From the Millwall goalkeeper goes out of play for a Manchester United corner. This has got to be the last chance of the game if United are going to get a second goal. That's a poor corner. Cleared away and the final whistle is blown. So Manchester United do go through to the next round of the English League Cup. Knocking out Millwall on the way. Kai getting the only goal of the game. And finishes the game with an 8 rating. So not the best of performances there from Kai or from the whole United team. Hopefully we can pick it up in this one. And we already do have a 3 goal lead going into this match from the first leg. Which was away from home. Which means of course we have 3 away goals. So now Krasnodar have to score 4 goals. Um, if they are going to be progressing through to the knockout stage. No sorry not the knockout stage. To the group stage. 
of the Champions League. And I don't see them doing that, do you? Even if they win 1 or 2-0, uh, I can't see them going on and getting 4. So this should be a fairly convincing victory again here for United. Uh, but again, it is a cup game. Anything can happen, as it was proved against Millwall. Took us till the fi final five minutes of that match to actually find the winner. And we're already into the second half in this one here at Old Trafford. And as you can see, it is still goalless on the night. And we just won ourselves a free kick there. Not entirely sure what that was given for. A couple of changes then for both sides. United still want to go out and try and grab themselves a winner. And as you can see, Kai again. Not, not having the best of games. He's currently on a 5.2 rating. As he does, he get past the play, playmaker. He does. Trying to open up some space for himself. Lays it off there for Lukaku. And his effort goes over the crossbar and out of play for a goal kick. So Kai picking it up a little bit in the second half. Nice bit of skill there. He's up to a 5.9 rated. That effort's not going to do him any favours, though. He's trying to get this ball back. Crescent Dark. Are defending, trying to get themselves forward. They've had most of the balls so far in this match. 51% possession. And still pushing forward here. Looking to get themselves a winning goal. Even if they do win on the night. A 1-0 or 2-0 win. It's going to be a huge... Um, oh, wow. Speaking of them winning. They've actually just gone through and pulled themselves a goal in front. So 3-1 is on aggregate. 1-0 on the night. And like I was saying, if they do go on and win... It's going to be a big result for them anyway. Even if they do go out, they're obviously going to be going into Europa League. So it's not going to be the end of the world for them. Uh, but a big result against United if they can pull it off. So we've got some work to do. And it was Kamano who got that goal for Krasnodar. We're into the final 15 minutes of play now here at Old Trafford. And we're still trailing by one goal to nil. And in fact, Krasnodar are pushing forward, looking to get themselves a second. And if they do get the second... Uh, Manchester United got to be a little bit careful going into the final 10 minutes but the goalkeeper makes a good save there and now a possible counter-attack is on here for United as Kai gets past one, gets past two he's going all the way through here he's got support on that far side he sees it, finds his man the shot, oh why did he not shoot he tried to play it back in the middle he should have just taken the shot off himself there plenty of time and space in front of him but... He wasn't able to go on and get the goal for United. And Krasnodar giving the ball away there just inside the United half. Come on, blow that whistle. Still 1-0 on the night here for Krasnodar, which in itself is going to be a good result for them. But thankfully, we did get those three goals in the first leg. And that was enough to get us through into the group stage then of the Champions League, which is fantastic for the United fans. And we're going to be playing some big, big teams in the future, of course, back where we belong. And it is transfer deadline day. We're into the final hour. So we're going to be going through these teams. And Chelsea have actually sold Zuma and Bakayoko. Which is a bit of a, a surprise. We'll have to wait and see if Bakayoko or Zuma. Well, there's Zuma. He has gone to Everton. And they've actually spent and sold a lot, a lot of players there. Everton. And Bakayoko's there. He's gone to Leicester City. They've spent 80, 87 million. Nearly 90 million. Liverpool have spent 100 million. Wow, a lot of these play, uh, teams are playing, spending a lot of money on these players. And uh, Godogan, he's left Manchester City. Mkhitaryan's obviously left Manchester United. Rigoni, he's joined United, so another teammate there for Kai. I uh, don't think I know who Rigoni is. We'll have to go and have a look in the, the squad report, see who we brought him from. I'm sure some of you guys already know who he is. Marco Royce, he's gone and joined Spurs, uh, so they're. Obviously, building on their club. Um, Sunderland, they spent £26 million, Didn't sell a player at all. Wilfred Boney has left Swansea. Uh, a lot of money in and out there for Watford. Yeah, but I'm still surprised that Bakayoko has actually gone on and joined Leicester City. What a surprise um, signing that was. But there we go. We've gone through all the clubs in the Premier League. So, we will go through a quick squad report. Just to see where Rigoni is from. He's from Zenit St. Petersburg. 26 years old right midfielder. 83 rated. Um, so he's got to be a decent player. If Manchester United had gone out and bought him. And there is a superstar already. Kai. 22 years old. And there is Lukaku. He's all 26 years old. He's got three goals so far this season. Obviously we want to be getting more goals there for Lukaku. He has slowed down a, a little bit. In the last few games. Lukaku. So we've got to try and assist him a bit more. Uh, but the final game then of today's episode is Newcastle United. Remember, this is the club where Kai started his career. 
before joining Dortmund just last season, the start of last season we joined Dortmund, remember? Um, so let's see how we get on then against our former teammates, our former club. I'm sure the fans won't be too hateful on Kai. He was only there for a season. Um, we want to be getting the victory, of course. We lost the last game at Old Trafford as well. This one, of course, is at Old Trafford. Sun is shining. It is in the Premier League. And we've got to be the favourites going into this one. But as you can see, 10 minutes played and it is still 0-0. And Lukaku trying to play it through. Kai still coming through there somehow. Gets a shot off. Goalkeeper makes the save. And Newcastle United do get this ball clear or do they? Kai picking it up. Plays inside there. The run is on from Kai. A bit of space opening up. Lukaku tried to lay it off for him. But the Newcastle United defenders were quickest to react. So into the second half we go. Lukaku picking up that ball from Kai. And intercepted there from Newcastle. Navarro. Cuts inside, loses it, and here is Lukaku this time, waiting for the run of somebody. Kai did make the run, and here he is in space, tries to play it through, which he does, goes for the shot, and that was a poor effort there, to be fair. That one should have been flying into the back of the net, but it did go wide. Marino not happy, as you can see. Schürrle has just come on, trying to add a little bit of creativity going forward. 7.4 rating for Kai, 7.5 now. As we progress on a little bit further. So a little bit of a better performance here from Kai. Better than his last two games of course. And we've got 15 minutes remaining. Nice bit of skill there from Kai. Needs somebody to make the runs. Here is Lukaku. Kai's waiting on the edge of the area. Lukaku saw him. Kai goes for the shot. Ooh, the low driven shot at that near post. Just an inch wide. Otherwise, that one would have been going into the back of the Newcastle United goal. But very, very close there from Kai. At least he's getting the shots off. Very close with that one. And looking up to go into the back of the net. It did bump him up to a 7.6 rating. But that poor pass is not going to do him any favours, is it? Into the final five minutes. It is still Manchester United nil, Newcastle United nil. Newcastle United playing patiently, passing on that far side. And Bashirawi looking to get the cross in, which he does. And there is the first goal of the game. It's come very, very late. And it is Daniel Podence for Newcastle United. Former teammate, of course, of Kai. Linked up quite a few times in their time together. But Bashirawi, he played it across the middle. And there was Daniel Podence, who just tapped in just outside the six-yard box to give Newcastle United a one-goal lead. And this could be a surprising victory for Newcastle. Nobody really tipped them to get the three points here. Uh, but what a goal that is. And obviously, with the money that Newcastle United got for selling Kai just a year ago, they brought in Bashawi. And I'm sure they've got a few other big-name players in there as well. But he got the assist. It was Podence with the finish. And it looks like we are going to be losing. Indeed, we are. So it is Manchester United who lose here at Old Trafford for the second game in a row. One goal to nil.